Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about getting cyber skilled. As you might remember from one of last week's videos, October is the International Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And to honor that, I'm releasing a video sharing tips that are themed each week. This week's theme is getting cyber skilled. And by the way, if you're curious about these themes, these are actually themes that were launched by the European International Cybersecurity Awareness uh, team. And this theme, Get Cyber Skilled, is all about making sure the masses, including children, have some basic cybersecurity skills that will help them survive online without losing their privacy or being tricked into doing anything silly. Now, besides sharing my own tips, I'll point out that this European site has a couple of great resources that uh, teachers or even normal people can use to get some basic cybersecurity education in four different topics. Uh, one of them is password management, one is about social engineering, one is about backing up data, and the last is about privacy and privacy settings. The European site has some great resources that are kind of like infographics or basic presentations that are written very clearly and can help people like teachers talk to their students about how to create strong passwords or why it's important to back up data and why it's important to make sure to set the proper privacy settings and things like social media accounts. So there's some fantastic tips that I don't really need to go over. However, to share one of my own tips, if you haven't heard of the 443 podcast, it's a podcast put out by the WatchGuard Threat Team. Uh, you can find it on any type of podcast program, whether it's Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or Stitcher or whatever. But in any case, the most recent episode, the one put out this Monday, actually talks about how uh, people can get into the cybersecurity profession. And while that's a slightly different topic, during this episode, we talk about all kinds of ways, both through organized education and through self-learning, that people can increase their own cybersecurity skills. Things you can do to learn more about cybersecurity or to participate in the community. So one tip I'll give you is to go ahead and listen to the 443 podcast, that most recent episode, because it talks a lot about cybersecurity education, whether you want formal or informal training. Besides that, I just want to mention there's already a lot of great resources out there that give very basic but important security tips for everybody in the world, including children. For instance, if you go to staysafeonline.org, it has a lot of materials that can help teach a normal person, even children, about cybersecurity. My other personal tip is as a parent, especially if you're someone that watches my videos or, or is part of the security industry, it's never too early to share your knowledge with your own kids or even other kids. For instance, as soon as your kids start to get online, whether it's joining social media or playing Penguin Club or whatever's popular now, you should definitely talk about them for how to talk to strangers online. Let them know that people can easily lie and aren't always who they say they are. One of my favorite tips for kids is don't put anything online that you don't want your grandma to see. It's important that they know that no matter how private a conversation they're thinking they're having online that anything you post somewhere else could live on the internet forever and can often leak beyond where you actually post it. So make sure they're aware of their privacy online. And finally, it's always good to make sure that they're not using simple basic passwords. Make sure that they use stronger passwords even if they are a little harder to remember. One thing we've done at WatchGuard, by the way, is many people partake in a take your child to work day. And here at WatchGuard, that's a great opportunity for us to give a very basic level security presentation to all of the children of the parents that work at our organization. Now I realize a lot of you may not work at a security focused organization, but it might be a good opportunity to talk to kids. And if you are in the security profession, maybe offer yourself as a subject matter expertise at your own child's school. The more we share this sort of information and basic tips with the new generation of computer users, the safer everyone will be online. Anyways, that's it for this week's video, but I'll be back next week with more October cybersecurity awareness tips. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.